Hi, my name is Julie Kelly, and this is my literature review over cultivation theory with an emphasis in political communication. The cultivation theory was pioneered by Larry Gross and George Gerbner in 1976. The primary purpose of the cultivation theory was to examine and evaluate the effects of media on individuals. Um, the underlying idea behind the theory is that heavy consumption of media, especially television, influences how individuals perceive the world. According to the theory, television viewing shapes social reality and people see the world as dangerous and they develop a fear of the world. The significance of television and influence the perception of those individuals has been an issue of concern by researchers over time. Other scholars have taken a leap to analyze the influence of other media apart from TV, which depicts the scope of the cultivation theory. In the past recent decades, the field of mass communication witnessed a rapid change in the manner um, in which individuals consume media from cable TV, satellite, and social media. With technological advancements, the cultivation theory has survived, taking unique perspectives that are based on the original concepts. There are over um, 120 research studies that endorse the theory, pointing to its ability to acclimate over the ever-changing media domains. Understanding the fundamentals of the cultivation theory requires a clear understanding of the various terminologies in the world. The concept of cultivation has been defined differently by scholars in the field of mass communication. The first concept of cultivation theory is that by George Gerbner. The second approach of the theory comes from the operational practices of the theory that are a result of the various tests conducted by different scholars. And then the third perspective comes from researchers who define it from a general um, social perspective. This perspective ignores the original approach of the cultivation theory uh, by its pioneers. In defining the cultivation theory, Gerbner examined the long-term impacts associated with television viewing, um, especially regarding its influence on social reality. The primary hypothesis was that individuals who spend a considerable, considerable amount of time watching TV are likely to see reality as it's depicted on TV. While defining the concept of the cultivation theory, the limited scope of the study was to television and its impact. It was argued that unlike other forms of media, TV presented a world that is composed of interrelated stories. Cultivation theory was characterized by its macro level focus. Um, Gerber even told us that the comparison of responses of those who claim to prefer or view this and that type of programming of one particular genre instead of measures of local viewing is likely to yield confusion, confusing, contradictory, and misleading results. Um, Gerbner created a boundary that defined its scope of definition, but a guy named, uh, sorry, a person named Potter describes another group of cultivationists who shifted from television as an indicator. One of the most common terms throughout Gerbner's theory is the mean world syndrome. The term is used to refer to the cognitive bias that arises when individuals perceive the real world to be more dangerous than what it really looks like. The syndrome is caused by excessive consumption of violent media content. Um, as far as political communication is concerned, the term minimal effects refers to the assumption that political campaigns marginally convert and persuade individuals. Gerbner and his colleagues narrowed their focus to television media, explaining that television is comprised of interrelated stories. To guide their operational practice in analyzing messages, Gerbner used frequency counts to develop meaning. For instance, high frequencies would indicate that the world, as depicted in the television, um, was violent and mean. Various assumptions were utilized throughout the development of the theory. It was assumed that television does not encourage or cause violent behavior among individuals. Instead, it reinforces the status quo. Excessive consumption of TV was defined as watching more than four hours. Um, watching television more than the prescribed hours would result in what he called the mean world syndrome. According to that theory, 
Heavy consumption of television influences how individuals perceive the world. In a world that is characterized by politics, TV's application in political communication um, cannot be undermined. Political communication focuses on the interaction between media, politics, and then citizens. Through news advertisements on TV, individuals can relate to what is happening in the world. For, for instance, during this current COVID-19 pandemic, people across the United States and around the globe are relying what is said on TV for what is happening. The advertisements in the media explaining how to stay safe from the virus um, are implications of the cultivation theory. Daily updates every day, whether you're watching your governor or um, the president, they accompany such ads on the number of individuals that are affected by the virus. The daily updates um, of the incidences have reinforced certain beliefs among people, including that the fact that the outside world is dangerous and individuals need to take appropriate measures. The government, through the media, has continuously warned individuals to wash their hands and avoid public gatherings at all costs, causing many Americans to be fearful. This is a perfect depiction of the role TV plays and other media in, complaint, in conveying political information. In some countries where various governments have yet to take appropriate measures to curb the virus, media has played a significant role in shaping their public opinion, whether it's good or bad. The role of TV and media influencing how Americans perceive the government is critical. Most Americans are fearful and dissatisfied and do not trust the government. And this is because of how media exposes corruption and dishonesty among elected government representatives. Even though the theory has been widely accepted in communication and social studies, it does have various limitations. First of all, the theory treats consumers of media as naturally passive. The theory focuses on the different patterns as depicted in media messages and focuses little attention on how individuals respond to those messages. Beyond what's been researched, cultivation theory could be used to determine the influence of TV on the perception of COVID-19. This is an essential area of study because people all over the world are glued to their TVs, awaiting updates on the virus, while some believe that nations are fabricating. Um, anyway, the studies have been conducted regarding the beliefs held by people on various diseases, um, and that prevention and the perception is profound. The cultivation theory does play an instrumental role in explaining the influence of TV and other forms of media on people's perceptions of reality. Um, even today, with COVID-19, a lot of people are fearful because of what the information that has been given through the internet and as TV as well. Um, so basically what is said on television and what we hear determines what we see as reality. So, thank you so much, have a great day.